ready? in the basement when we were teenagers and we eventually got in a nightclub with phony ID and we played for years and we built ourselves up to like the top club in the city and Motown was in Detroit so it was a natural and we had to find a way to get noticed and it, timing was good Motown decided to open up a rock division and uh, we were there so we got a chance to go in the studio for just five days and we didn't know what to do we played the songs that were most popular in the club and that was the Get Ready album. It came out six months, nobody played it. We thought, dead issue. All of a sudden, one guy played it in Washington, then in Baltimore, and it took off and sold millions of copies. And we just followed it and went on the road, played concerts all over, you know, from little ones to big ones, 300,000 people. Played RFK Stadium one night, it was sold out. The stage was 30 feet high, about 60 feet wide. And the whole stage started rocking back and forth because the people came out of the stands and they were pushing. And they said that, uh, they told the people they couldn't come out onto the field, otherwise the promoter would be charged about a hundred grand for new sod. <laughs> and so they came down. I mean, it was a crazy night, but it was a fun night. There were lots of fun, crazy things like that. Motown, you know, when we got in Motown, Marvin and Stevie and Gladys Knight and Smokey, they treated us so good. But the rough part was, recording in the studio, we're newbies, really green, and in the control room, there's Marvin standing there, and there's Gladys is walking through, and we're like, and I'm gonna sing? Anyways, they, they just, they soothed us and told us, they said, hey man, just get a groove have some fun, that's what this is all about. And it's always so, been that way. I was very impressed with meeting, you know, and knowing David Ruffin and, and Stevie. You know, I met him when he was like 11 years old and, and it was just great. And it was so much fun all the time, but that's why after all these years, I'm still doing this because I believe that I have to do, or people should do if they're lucky enough and fortunate enough like I am, to do what you love to do. My last breath, I want it to be when I'm going for a high note. I want to make the note and then boom, you're gone. But, so that's the way I am about it. It's fun because when I play and people enjoy what I'm doing, it's very rewarding to me personally.